Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of our trip around South America. Being a sea day, I decided to invite you in another specialty restaurant on board the Norwegian Star. I want to take you with me to a 70s party, and of course, it's time for a history lesson on our next stop, Falklands Island. This is 14 days at the end of the world with a historical dilemma. Episode 6, Falklands Islands or Islas Malvinas. Another lazy day at sea gave me the opportunity to discover more about the culinary option on board Norwegian style. And I decided to sacrifice myself for you and I tried Tepanyaki restaurant, a universal formula for many ships and different cruise lines. The Japanese Tepanyaki Steakhouse uh, is a very popular way to enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine cooked fresh in front of the guest. The word teppanyaki describes the way that food is cooked. Um, the name combines the word tepan, which means iron plate, and yaki, which uh, means grilled. At a teppanyaki restaurant, the guests are seated around a large flat grill surface and watch as the chef cooks the food and sometimes performs culinary tricks to add to the entertainment value of the dining experience. That is what happened normally. Uh, normally, uh, the sizzle and surprise never ceased when I try uh, this type of cuisine on other cruise ships. But on Norwegian Star, something wasn't quite right with the Tepanyaki restaurant. Indeed, we sat around a lively shared table, but the skillful chef who slices, chops and grills steaks, kitchen and seafood on a large steel grill was replaced with a kind of, uh, kind of a rejected uh, contestant to a Filipino version of X Factor. Two chefs back to back uh, trying to impress two different tables at the same time wasn't a good idea, especially when they were trying to project one's voice stronger than the other. Fair enough, uh, after the starters and the soup, they compromised to sing as a duo. But the vocal performance did improve, not at all. It was more difficult to cope with one bad singer than with two. <laughs> and uh, the culinary tricks were something that myself I can do it at home after a week or maybe two uh, of practice. A couple of times I was uh, one step to have some fingers topping up my udon noodles. Um, how was the food and how was the service? Meh. Norwegian uh, Cruise Line used to be famous for its theme parties. This time on Norwegian Star, I try first a 70s party. DJ Trap, and I said Trap with a T, not with a C. After 40 minutes of 70s music, uh, he got bored and switched on his favorite reggaeton mix. But uh, by that time, 
I had enough cocktails to don't care about the music and stay on the dance floor until late that night or early that morning. Depends how you want to set up the time. Are you ready to boogie? Imagine a place that is so far off the beaten track, you have miles of stunning landscapes, uh, beaches and magnificent bird life all to yourself. Imagine a silence that is only broken by the call of the birds and your own footsteps. This is the Falkland Islands, one of the last great wilderness destinations where any trip becomes an adventure. You cannot dock in the small port, and if you are coming with a big cruise ship uh, and the tender boat will give you um, the first brutal contact with the size and the wilderness of this place, you'll see what I'm talking about. At my first step on shore, I had the chance to discover Port Stanley, the UK's most unconventional colonial outpost, the very British capital of this wild archipelago. Located on uh, East Falkland Island, on a north-facing slope, in one of the wettest part of the island, Stanley will give you a familiar yet odd feeling of being home away from home. Now, in uh, Port Stanley, a must-see for all visitors is the historic Dockyard Museum, where the past is exemplified through farming stories, items for entertainment and relaxation, recreation of shops, homes and buildings, including a wash house and an old smithy. An Instagram moment for sure is the Whalebone Arch, uh, a monument constructed in 1933 from two jawbones of two blue whales to commemorate the centenary of continuous British administration in the Falklands. And of course, uh, being homesick, uh, I decided to have a pint and some fish and chips in Victory Bar and the second round later in Globe Tavern.
Falklands, uh, I opted for another tour booked uh, on board, Battlefields of Falkland Islands, a very interesting mixture between recent history and geological past of uh, this archipelago. The journey took me in key battlefield sites from the 1982 Falklands War. I saw the peaks of two sisters, captured by the 45th Commando on the night of uh, 11 to 12th of June 1982, providing the Brits with the command of uh, the head of the valley before their approach uh, on Stanley. I visit H. Uh, Jones Memorial, marking the spot uh, on which uh, Lieutenant Colonel A. Jones commanding uh, officer of the 2nd Battalion Parachute Regiment was killed as the battalion advanced on Goose Green on the 28th of uh, May 1982. I uh, visited, I had a short stop on Mount Harriet, captured by the 42nd Commander on the night of uh, the 11th to 12th of June 1982 after nine days of intensive night patrolling over rolled ground littered with minefields. Um, I stop uh, to the field next to Port Stanley, still keeping the twisted and rusted wreckage of Puma and Chinook Argentinian helicopters. Now, uh, moving from one point to another, I had the chance to discover another highlight of this island, the stone runs, which are thrown um, everywhere in the field. Uh, they are thought to be periglacial block fields, but their age and detailed origin remain still enigmatic. In uh, Romanian, we have an expression um, uh, that try to suggest when you live at the end of the world or somewhere very, very far away. You live where you hang the map on the wall. Imagine that today I am in exactly, from the geographical point of view, opposite uh, direction. I'm at the end of the world. I heard, I read, I watched the map or in the news, the story of uh, Falklands Island, but I never expected me to be right here. And uh, today I'm experiencing a very interesting and unique uh, history and geological uh, lesson about Falkland Islands. <laughs>
Condé Nast Traveler published recently a list of do's and don'ts on a cruise ship and one of the top 10 advices is to don't take over the dance floor, especially after drink too much or not too much dance experience. And to make you laugh at the end of this episode, I'll give you my own version of Strictly Come Dancing. Strictly not dancing. for Africa. That's all for this episode. Tomorrow we sail together around Cape Horn. We'll have an excellent lunch on board and some fun uh, sailing with uh, Norwegian Star uh, and cruising to the end of the world. See you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central European time on YouTube channel Leonard Myron 1969. And don't forget that yesterday it's but today's memory and tomorrow is today's dream. Thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow.